Welcome back to Black and White Banter, Newcastle fans. If you are new to Black and White Banter, I know you might, you might not want to hit that like button because you're wondering why I've got one of these scarves on, but all will be explained in a second. If you do like this video, just give us one of these. It goes a long way to getting us up that search bar. And like I say, if you like the video by the end, hit that subscribe button. It means a lot. Now, to make a different video on the channel this weekend, um, the reason I've got this scarf on is I'm currently in Krakow for the weekend in Poland. Not able to make the Spurs game, which I'm devastated about. First away game of the season I'm missing. But I love my European breaks away. And when I do come away, I love to take in a European football match. Experience the atmosphere. See some football, because I miss it that much when I'm away. And it's always just a, it's just good crack. It's good to see and experience different things and different ways of doing things. So this weekend, I'm going to see Whistler Krakow, which is why I've got the colours on. I'm ready. I'm trying to blend in with the locals. Um, they play in a stadium about 10 minutes away from Krakow, not even that in an Uber, five minutes. It's a 33,000 seat stadium, they play at home, Saturday night. I've heard about the ultras, I've been to games in Poland before, behind the goal, the atmosphere is normally a bit mad, a bit crazy. So obviously you've got to keep your wits about you a little bit, same as any tourist going to a match. But there is a lot, because there's so many Polish in England, there's lots of English supporters, clubs, and it's never been too much of a problem before. So we've already got our tickets. Tickets for the game, would you believe, are about £6 for a perfect seat. If you want to upgrade for about £40, you can have unlimited drink, a VIP seat, and you can meet the players. Yes, Newcastle fans, you heard that right. Unlimited booze in the stadium, and you can meet the players for 40 quid. It's very difficult to get your head round, but hey, um, this team's actually been relegated for the first time in 26 years, so Whistler Krakow are actually one of the most successful teams in Poland, they've won the title 13 times, I believe. And last year it was a shock relegation. They, they're having financial troubles. They've just changed owners recently, which I'll touch on in a second. And yeah, it came as a massive shock. Same as when we were relegated in 2009. They are, they are a staple name in Poland, and they are now, and they're not even doing very well in the second division in Polish football. So they're sitting about 12th in the league as I go to this game today against the team that's eighth. So, ground to make up, so yeah, things are, aren't looking great for them, as some of the fans told me, um, that I've been chatting to before the match. Interestingly, there's not going to be many players on the field that I'll know, but you will know one, Jacob Brakaz Brazazowski. He used to play for Borussia Dortmund, Polish winger, he's 36 years old now, he, he won everything at Dortmund. He's actually now, not only is he a player, he's come back, he's part owner. So he's, 2019, he became part owner of this football club. So he plays and he deals with what's going on in the background as well. So that's quite unheard of. So I'm looking forward to watching him knowing a player. Um, I've already been to the club shop, as you can see, to get kitted out. So I'm hopefully going to do my match vlog, take you around. Obviously, keep your wits about us a little bit. And yeah, different video in the channel. But hey, let's get over to that stadium. Soak up a bit of atmosphere and hopefully watch um, some football. I don't really know what to chant. I've been trying to make Newcastle chants up for Whistler Krakow. Um, still working on that. The Blade and Races doesn't quite fit with Whistler Krakow. But hey, let's get over there, get a few beers, and see what Poland has to offer. And Whistler's biggest rivals play here, just behind me. This is Krakowia. They play at the Josef Municipal Stadium. And it's, it's interesting, I mean, they absolutely hate each other. I got told that I shouldn't really be wearing either scarf around Poland, around the Krakow area, in case it pisses somebody off because they despise each other. But the stadiums are so close. Um, you're talking like a matter of minutes in a taxi between places. But the size of clubs is huge. Um, so obviously, Krakowia play in the top division at the moment, and Whistler are in the second division. But like Krakowia, have had nowhere near as much success as Wisla Krakow. They've only won the uh, the Polish the Polish top division title in their history about half the amount of times of Wisla Krakow. But they are in the top league. The stadium's half the size of Wisla. So this this one here, just behind us, is a fifteen thousand seat stadium. And even when I walk around, I can just feel it's not as big a like club in terms of its history. The club shop was absolutely tiny. I've just been in there to buy a scarf, and 
yeah, it's it's crazy to see that the demise of Wisley is hammered home when I see how much their main rivals are doing better than them on such a smaller stadium, facilities, everything. So I can only relate to Newcastle and Sunderland really, but obviously Newcastle and Sunderland have similar size fan base, similar size stadium. This is the total opposite. It's like your bitter rivals ramming it down your face in a very close proximity of each other. So they've actually got a home game today, Krakowie, as I stand here now, against Lesh Poznan. And in the shop, this is really interesting, the away team scarf was in the shop because they have clubs in their league that they're friends with. Isn't that interesting? So you can actually buy the away team scarf because they have a friendship with certain clubs. I don't know the history of that friendship, but I just thought that was pretty interesting because that would never happen in England, ever. So yeah, Krakowie, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the game today, which is a shame because the standard of football would be a lot better. But I just thought I'd come over to the rivals team and check out their stadium as well. Someone help me. arrived at the stadium and I'm not gonna lie I've been stuck in a hole reading about this football club it's absolutely insane so about for the last five or six years this club has been in free fall they were basically getting run before um, Jakub Brzezowski came back in and I know I'm saying his name wrong the ex-Borussia Dortmund winger I've tried pronouncing it and it's not working they were basically getting run by criminals the football club um, money laundering kidnapping there was all sorts of corruption going on and the club financially was in free fall. So the relegations tied into that. The fans are fed up as hell and they've suffered for it, obviously, for getting relegated. And obviously sitting 11th in the league going into this game. It's a club that was once one of the, once like an absolute powerhouse in Poland. And it's just lost its identity. So really fascinating. Until um, the club was taken over in 2019, they were going nowhere. So I'm going to get in there, uh, see whether we can get a beer. I don't know whether we can drink in the stands anymore, but the fans are starting to pile in, as you can see. So let's get in and soak up a bit of Polish atmosphere. And from the club shop, you don't even need to get a stadium to. You can just walk straight out and see the stadium. <laughs> pints in the stadium works out about £2.10 pence a pint. Or £5.50 in England, cheapest, uh, cheapest in Newcastle. You can take it out in the stadium as well. So you can sit in the stands with a pint. If that's not one of the best things about European games if you're coming away, then, then I don't know what is. There's even PlayStations in the stadium to have a pint and play before you actually go to the stadium. Newcastle could learn a few things from this, I tell you. <laughs> Half time, 1 0 to Pobedetsky, the away team. I don't know much about Polish football, but Wisler Krakow defensively, not the best. Not the best at all. Um, the away team could have actually been about four goals up. 
just a bit lethargic. Atmosphere though has been generally good. The stadium's not very full because they're in the second division now. You can tell if their fans are just a little bit fed up. So the atmosphere has been affected by that a little bit. It's probably, I'd say, a third full, maybe half empty. But the ultra fans in the corner, the noise they make, that's the best thing about European matches. And what I loved is that in the 19th minute and the sixth, sixth second, everyone got up and sang because that's the year they were formed, which I just thought was great. So on 19 minutes and six seconds, the whole stadium got up and held the scarfs up. Good atmosphere so far to say the stadium's not as full, but I just wish... You know, I'm just hoping to see a bit more quality, but defensively, Whistler, God, are they very lucky that it's only one at the moment. But hey, we'll see what the second half brings. A couple more cheap pints at half time. Just leaving the ground now, I tell you what, if I tell anyone who comes to a European city, and I know a lot of people are a bit hasty because you think it's quite, it can be quite dangerous to go to a game, it's just fantastic, fantastic value for money. I mean, I've just seen, I've had to leave early and it's currently 3-2 to Whistler. So I've seen five goals. The ticket was about £5.50, which is like crazy, really, compared to what I would pay for a Newcastle game. You're allowed to have a pint in the stands, a £2 pint, We've been made to feel really welcome, so I've sat in the safe stand. You can hear the fans behind us still coming out of the stadium. Loud as hell. You can hear them chanting. Um, I would just tell anyone to do it. It's a fa if you're a football fan like I am, and you're coming to a different country, different city, it's just a fantastic experience. And you almost feel like you get a bit, bit of a place in your heart for the team as well by doing it. And like I say, a lot of people, including me, Generally, I've done this now about three or four times, and I'm not going to make this a regular vlog, I'm not. But in terms of value for money, you can come with a, even with a family. £5 a ticket. W women's tickets for these ones, actually, are actually cheaper. I don't know whether that's going to set off some sort of feminist argument, but cheaper tickets for women. My ticket was about £5, £6. A pint was about two quid, And I've seen five goals, and I, you know the match is still going on. You can hear it. Atmosphere. I feel sorry for these fans. I mean... You think about Mike Ashley and Newcastle, as a Newcastle fan, we've been through some hard times and we think that, that we are really hard done by when we was in charge. These have had, their players have gone nine months without getting paid. They've been, managed, they've been owned by corrupted sort of gangsters. They've gone from the first division to the second. They don't know their arse from their elbow. And you can tell, I mean, I noticed a lot of fans in there just looking really, really flat. But hey, five goals, hardly any... Any, no bother at all. No, way, I mean there was no way fans, of course, but um, just a fantastic day out. And if you come in any country in Europe, I can't say any further than Europe. I would advise just coming to a football match or just looking into it because it makes my weekend. And this has been absolutely class. Got my scarf, had a couple of beers, enjoyed a bit of a dance up and down, saw some goals. And it was brilliant. So I'm going to sign off on this one. Um, bit of a different vlog I'm not going to be doing these regular I try and get about one European game in a year but Whistler Krakow come and see them they need your help because they are a football club that's struggling really really are and I learned that from more Polish fans and I can just see it in the stands just sad really to see a team that's a powerhouse of Polish football dropping down into the second division like, like they have but still showing up still chanting still singing it could always be worse as a football fan. It could always be worse. But I've been had a fantastic day. So if you were ever in Krakow, and I know it's a popular destination for Brits, come along, check it out. I'll see you on the next video, Newcastle fans, or maybe fans from further afield watching this game. Drop us a little like if you like this video. Drop us a subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. How are the Krakow mags?